So, hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. And, if OBS will show me, oh, the OBS, thank you, yes, we are back in No Man's Sky. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're in Space Engineers, we are on episode 7 and I am in a little bit of a condition, but it's all good. Hey, let's continue the game. I've had... Um, a little chat, chat with Tarsus uh, oh, in sorry. between. <laughs> um, and we were talking about... Um, let me actually go and pull up the chat if I can. Um, da, 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 da. So here's the thing. Um, Tarsus was obviously watching the VOD because he couldn't be on stream, which is fine. Um, and he went and said, well, there's two sort of things that we need to go and fix. And yeah, he's absolutely right. Um, one is I have got a huge gaping hole in the middle of the base that the gravel falls down, but we also could fall down. So we can actually build railing there. Railing. And then the other one is, <clears throat> let me go and find now. Um, yes, so, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Remember last time I was looking for the, now I know the word, the medical bay, you know, the <laughs> survival kit, but uh, the advanced one, yeah, it's called a medical bay, and that's what I was looking for. And yeah, we have found that, obviously. Um, but more importantly, there's a thing I really completely forgot on our rover. So, and this is, this is, yeah, I, I missed this. I completely missed this. Um, now, remember, I, I ripped the landing gear off because it was locked in and I didn't realize. Well, here's the thing. Um, yeah, we put a new landing gear on. But if I am not mistaken, one of these guys, yep, there it is. It's on auto lock. No, do not. Right, and the other ones are all fine. Good. So that's one of the things that I was, I was, you know, informed of, and yeah, super important. Because I, I want the landing gear to actually not lock unless I want it to lock into the ground. Um, and the other one, yeah, as I say, there's a bit of railing we would need to put up in a. Yeah, right there. Um, well, let's see. I, I have actually never built railing in this game, so let's let's see if I can find it. Um, is it just called rail? <coughs> oh, yeah, it does have a rail gun by the looks of it. No, okay, not not what I'm looking for. Um, what would this be under? Uh, it's. It's not a block weapon, it's not a block tool, neither character, weapon or tool, it's not an emote, it's... I don't think it's an ammo block, I like, I... I'm just looking through this, it doesn't look like any of them, uh, consumables, no, conveyor, con no... No, I can tell that these... Uh, uh, Frostbite is a DLC, but it's not going to offer us what we need. GSI Inc. is a DLC, that's the, the lightning rod, industrial blocks, nope, that's just all large blocks in general. Production wasteland, small blocks, symbols, oh, also, by the way, hi, yeah, I, I completely forgot to mention, I have also now got Warfare 1. Basically, we... Hey, hi, Tarsus. Basically, we have all the DLC. The only thing we're not having is the style pack. And honestly, I, I couldn't care less. Like, <laughs> I don't care what my, my space engineer looks like. I really couldn't care less. So, I have all the DLC for the blocks that we need. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so Tarsus, I'm trying to find railing. And I don't know if it's something I haven't found yet because... Ah, yeah, 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 okay, so this is actually it. We are missing a progression block, which is in this case either an interior wall or a cylindrical column. So, yeah, interior wall. Okay, let's just go and put that up. And we're going to uh, 
built one somewhere. I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. What is this even like? The difference between. Um. Oh, oh, I can't even because I'm missing components. We have the components. We're gonna build the thing. And I'm probably gonna grind it down again. <laughs> uh, boom. Done. And then. We've unlocked the block that I want. Whoa. Lag spike much? Um, go and put. Sorry guys, wrong button here. Um, alt. Uh, deposited. And now I'm sure if we went and looked again. I should find a. Yes, there we go, really. Oh, wait, this is actually. Okay. So. And I'm. <laughs> building grind. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, this is something I'm going to make you guys aware of because I normally pride myself on building things that are base game without DLC. Railings, unfortunately, are part of a DLC and they are part of what can see only decorative blocks too but it is a thing right um however and yes i will put railing up because i like the block and i like what it does there is another way of doing this you could for example um let me try and think we, we could do something to block access and let's try and do this vanilla right okay so what I would think you could do, for example, you could place something like this, right? You could place a, a few blocks that make a, I don't know, how would you call it? A, a funnel of sorts. Um, let's see, what blocks do we have? Uh, for example, you could do uh, even that, like, place one there, place another one there, face them that way, like, oh, catwalk, is a catwalk a thing that is, um, so, <laughs> Tarsus to the rescue, <laughs> let's have a look, um, as I say, I, I like the fact that none of the DLC gives you an advantage in this game, but I would also like to be able to show you this game from a perspective of someone that can just afford the base game. And this is a position I found myself in just very recently. So, you know, it took me a while to actually get things together. Um, oh, so look at this. There is catwalks, thank you Tarsus, that are actually not part of a DLC. And yes, we, we could sue, but we, we could definitely use something like this, maybe a funnel items in, right? There is blocks there for sure, but you know what? Uh, because I really can't be bothered right now. No, I just <laughs> had a bit of a booze in me as well. Uh, no, wrong one. Um, yeah, that's the that's the one I would want to place. Let's go and grab one, two, three. I think. Go and put one there, and then we're gonna put one there. And gonna put. I don't. Know, is this a thing? Why are you? Yeah, there it was. I, I, I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. Oh, it's wrong block you're looking at. It's not going to let me place that there, is it? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Boom. Closed off, and we can't fall down anymore. But you know, there's always a way. <clears throat> Look through the blocks, and uh, you'll find something. Anyways, where were we? So we've built all the big things. We've got more power. I've got, <coughs> pardon me. We've got hydrogen. We've got oxygen. Um, we've got this thing. Um, railing auto lock is fixed. Sorry, just quickly going through my comments and you know chat history. Um, so. Actually, you know what? I was meaning to do some building today, but I think I'm not going to go with a discussion I had with Tarsus. And the minute I'm going to head towards a certain area, Tarsus is going to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, 
first of all, let's quickly recharge the suit. Mm, need some health too. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where is? No, don't crouch. So, uh, I'm gonna do some digging. We're gonna expand the base a little bit. Excuse me. Why is my bottle not getting refilled? Uh, do we? Did I lose ice? Do we? Okay, so there is no ice there, and I am assuming. And this is a weird one. <laughs> ah, yeah, Charles thinks already. What? <laughs> thinks he knows already where I'm going. <laughs> Uh, I don't engine. No, 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 not quite. I was actually thinking of the missile style. So I'm gonna say that. Um, but so um, check, checking. Um, oh God, what are they called the sh tanks? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, where on earth has my eyes gone? Oh shoot. Yeah, Tarsus, you're right. Oh, gosh darn it. Right, so, I made a big boo-boo. <laughs> um, you know, like, how we found ice... Uh, bearish. It's, it, it's somewhere over there. Beacon, it's not that beacon. Uh, yeah, yeah, that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, this guy has literally just eaten up all my hydrogen. So, yeah, Sebastian is an idiot. And thank you, Tarsus, for reminding me. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. That's, that's part of parcel. We're all learning here. And, yeah, it's gone and chewed up all my ice. And in the process, it's obviously consumed the hydrogen. And left me with, if we go and check our tanks, it's not like it's gone disappeared, right? It, uh, it's not like that. The oxygen tank has actually filled 66%. So the ice has been broken apart into its hydrogen and oxygen components. But yeah. Oops. Well, it happens. Right. But anyways, the plan I think for tonight and it's a little bit different. Um, now, my guys, we, we built this whole thing, and it came out, and it drilled a hole, and we big hole in the ground. Good. This is a nice area. <clears throat> if we were just to look up the street, say this way, this seems like a launch platform almost, does it not? So yeah, Tarsus and me were talking, and we were talking about this hole, and we were talking about making uh, being a mine entrance, which, yeah, that's what I was planning anyways. I had actually marked a spot somewhere called Tunnel Entrance, sort of up here-ish, right? and, and this was sort of my original intent. But yeah, I'm sure actually what we could do is build a little bit down here, Something like a launch platform, something that could almost be conceived of as a missile silo and also give us the ability to maybe head down into a, well, let's call it a bunker, you know, a, a sort of backup point to retreat into. Because we are getting to the stage, and I've, I've mentioned this, I think, before, where I think by episode maybe 10, at the latest 12, we're going to introduce a start. We're going to introduce enemies into our whole game, right? And I think by that time, I would like to have the ability to say, yeah, we have a base, and it may announce itself by being visible. But I would like the ability to just sort of retreat and run somewhere um so to that purpose yeah see there there's that mark that i was setting oh. and i sort of like the fact that we've already set up right here right so let's 
I know, guys, I'm all over the place tonight. Um, yeah, it's all good. Hi. Merry, jolly, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I've had a wee drink in me. Ah, you may call it that. So, but yeah, I think if I can just at least get some of this planned out and sort of laid out and... And, no, 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 just... Note to self, you can't do any building without, you know, steel plate. Wait, yes, <laughs> we can't fall in anymore. So yeah, Tarsus, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big saver there, because knowing me, I would fall in there all the time. Now, also, another thing Tarsus mentioned, uh, just while we're talking about it, I, I remember. Let's quickly check this, because did we order more motors? Yes, actually we did. Okay, so it's just a reminder I had from him, and this, I appreciate this, guys. Really, I do. He was just asking, hey, did I put motors into autocrafting? Yes, I did this time, but I wasn't even sure, so yeah, let's check it. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Um, and you know, just by that fact alone, we know we have pretty much the ingredients we need. So if I was to look for steel plates, we are expecting at least a thousand. <laughs> and well, look at that. And, you know, all these amounts seem pretty much exactly in line what, with what I would expect. Nice. And it's missing five plates, so it's got to put them on. That's fine. Oh, ow. That's my own fault. Now. I wonder. Should I attach it directly to the base? I, like... Should I try and bring it down, like, uh, same, like so, or just freestyle it? Uh, I think I'm gonna try. That seems fairly... Oh, come on, come on, just let me out there. Can bring it even down just very close to the wall. Um, I'd be happy with that. Just to have a reference point that is aligned the same way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, come on. No. 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 I'm gonna have to do a bit of trying to be quite Yeah. Okay. So this is something <laughs> and I'm just gonna show what I think I may plan for the future, right? This this is the sort of base we would look at as a launch platform, right? But next, we were talking last time also about having a launch, you know, a, a launcher, something that we can mine with, that we can... Um, sorry, give me two seconds. And, um, yeah, um, basically something atmospheric to start with something that we can actually go over to those different resources and mine with at the same time we're gonna future proof it meaning we're gonna make it big grid and yeah it's gonna be a huge expense to start with um but it's gonna be big grid it's going to be I, I would like to incorporate the landing gear that we've sort of got in here, you know, this whole thing of being able to come up and once it's up, go and lock in and, and land like this. I'm sure we can do exactly the same thing for a vehicle, you know, a, a sorry, a not vehicle, but a, 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 a flying contraption. <laughs> for lack of a better word um, but yeah I would like I think you know during flight to be quite streamlined and, and I, I, I I really did appreciate the, the, the comment I got from Tarsus there where he says you know he really likes how this sort of just goes and disappears yeah I will try and copy that because I, I like the idea of well a landing gear should just disappear in the in the hull you know in, in the actual well, yeah, body of the, the, the vehicle that we're flying. Um, so, 
And now, here's my... Hmm. So I didn't like the start of the rover last time. But I may just have to hope for the best. So... Now, Tarsus, I'm not going to just ask you directly, since you're in chat. Which side of the landing gear here is the front? Is it the short piston or the long piston? This has always got me confused. I... Like, I feel that the short piston should be the front on the large grid, but when I look at the small grid, right, this is the worst part, I feel like the long piston is the front. I, I don't know. I just do not know. Okay. Oh, Tarsus. <laughs> and again, you came through for me, friend. It's the long piston that's the front. Oh, Oh yes, oh, I'm I'm sometimes a little bit too logical and a little bit too focused on the non-obvious things. He says, "Look at it like a foot," and yeah, actually, when you do that, <laughs> it makes sense. I'm looking at the heel right now. Now we're looking at the toes. It it yeah. <laughs> it's actually that simple. Nice. But as I say, we're going to be large red for sure, right? And as I say, yeah, it's going to be expensive, but we're going to future-proof. I think the idea, and and this is I'm, this is going to be an experiment. I have not seen this in a video so far. Hey, don't get me wrong. I've not watched all the space engineer videos. Hey, <laughs> good gracious, no, 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 no. I've watched a few. I've watched Kanajashi, and I've watched a few Splitsies videos. But I've not seen, like, I've seen kind of Joshi do a, a mobile base with wind on it. However, Tarsus and me, we were talking about a base that has not just wind, but solar as well. And to boot, before takeoff, I would be able to fold in the solar. Okay, Tarsus, so I get what you mean. Um, however, I like it. I'm, I'm not actually <laughs> meaning to be rude or anything, you know, anything bad here. I, I find that what I've done so far actually works. I, I, I sort of build a base and then just decide where I want the piston and just build the top support from there, if that makes sense. Um, so, I place the piston. See, this is not actually one of the landing gears that's going to be used. That is sort of my whole point here, right? What I do with the first landing gear is just give me a base that I can attach to. Um, and since it's large grid, we're going to go to more... Actually, I got that wrong. <clears throat> no, wait. Front to middle doesn't matter, it's this way I need to make it equal. Um, so, R right, okay. Right, so my idea was basically Tarsus, and, and, and as I say, I'm, I'm more than open for discussion, right? Um, I've just got to build the base out, right? Literally just outline where I want this whole thing, like, say, so, and then place the pistons in this position and actually lift it up on there, or, oh, right, no, right, sorry, um, I'm talking with my arse, Tarsus is absolutely right, right, watch this, watch this, no, no, <clears throat> this is a thing, yeah, okay, Tarsus sees what I mean, but we can actually, I can, I can save myself a little bit of bother by doing one extra bit. So what I've been thinking. Oh uh, yep, yep, I I I done the I done the clang. Well not a clang, but I done a disconnect. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, yeah, we've got a landing gear, we've got to put a piston on top, lift it up as soon as we can, and then build the rest from it. 
because the last time I had I, I done this, I had the problem where I was building the landing gear. Then I was building a base. Then I was dropping it all down to the pistons, and I was building another landing gear to hoist it up on. Right, so. It's a sort of mixture between what Tarsh is, is suggesting and what I've done last time. What we're going to do... Oh, crap. Okay, before we do anything, I, I am not going through that again. Right? We're going ice. We're going to get ice right now. No, 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 Wait. Hello? Let me in there. Uh, I am trying to get my controls back here, so handbrake, let's go. Unbreak lights. What? I wish it seems one of the landing gears is still stuck, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Tars is just saying, actually, go and get ice first. <laughs> yeah, he's lived through the pain with me the last time we tried to do this without ice. <laughs> and it, it wasn't pretty. It really wasn't. Um, oh, I'm going that way. It's, it's literally just 1.2 something away but yeah as I say he sat with me last time whilst we done this and it wasn't a pretty side and yeah we're going to guys the hydro engine I've already turned off um, so we're fine to actually just go and grab the stuff <laughs> oh, I want my life yeah at least I learned from a mistake this time at least a little bit. Not straight away, it took me a wee while, but... <laughs> and we should just have a, yeah, yeah, big hole right there. Go on, log, bump, bump, right, good. No, bump, 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 like so. And then we're just going to follow the... Oh, out of me. No, now we know this is a bit of a weird hole. I know I've done the whole bypassing elements and all that, but... Let's go. But yeah, what what you're seeing tonight, that's the result of what happens when a German has a bit of dragon soup in Scotland. <laughs> uh, a wee bit more. I've got a bit more space. Come on. Fill up. All the way. I'm giving it all she's got. <laughs> Where's my... Is this my exit? Is this my hole? I think this is my hole. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 this, this looks like the right hole. Someone stop me, please. <laughs> uh, but no, it's all in good fun. It's, you know, can't be all too serious all the time. Why is the dampness of... So, Tarsus, I'm just going to ask another question in your direction because you are quite responsive and really good with your knowledge here. Um, see, on my vehicle, I've got dampness off, even though I've got gyros. Is dampness a requirement, or am I missing the requirements of thrusters? Is this what what's requires to get dampness on? Like, what? Because when I hit Z, nothing happens. Do we actually need thrusters in all four directions to make that happen? If I've done this right, I should be able to. Let's go and line up the camera a bit better. Actually, stop. I'm going to show you another little trick. 
And this is something I really, really like to do because um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a sort of perfectionist, let's call it. No, wrong key. And it's is it called a camera? Yes, it's called a camera. Right. Hello. So how the dampness work is with thrusters, it keeps you stationary, stops you if you're moving with a vehicle with thrusters or a dampness off will keep coasting. Yeah, so I understand that obviously if you have the dampness off, you will keep coasting, whereas if you have them on and you let go of your acceleration, it will try and stop you to a zero meters per second, right? But it's... The requirement here is thrusters. Okay, that's that's what I was looking for. Thanks, Tarsus. Awesome. So I'm doing a thing here where I want a camera at the back. And this is the way that it's aligned, right? You want that. See that little dot? I'm going to turn it around again. And you see it in, uh, what's that? Two o'clock position. Right? You want that in the bottom position. You want it at the what's that seven o'clock position right nice so and it's basically making sure that you're aligned correctly to the plane of your grid really computers do you think we're missing computers i can guarantee fucking to you we have computers If you're in space, you will keep moving with no thrust. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly like Newtonian mechanics should work, obviously. Narcissus. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. I was just a bit confused on it with vehicles, like... Wheeled vehicles. Right. Anyways. The reason I was putting the camera up... It, it, it's a me thing, right? Right. Don't mind me so much if you if you don't like this. Um, I like to do this thing where I say view, right, and I can actually go and lose the handbrake, and then just I can go and line up properly. Oh, other way with my connector, and then I can press two, and we're still locked in. Then you hit F to come out of that view. Um, also, if people are wondering, I've seen this uh, earlier on, uh, moving the camera because people are like, oh, yeah, you're moving the vehicle. No, you hit Alt. You hold Alt, right? And you hold it all the time, and then you move your mouse. This is how you move your camera independently from your actual, say, viewport, right? And this is sort of a thing where you're pointing actually at the direction that your vehicle or your player is meant to, meant to aim at. Whereas if you hold Alt, you're disconnecting that camera from the viewing camera. Okay, and just as a little piece of information. Anyways, cool, we can jump out. And if, now, if I remember rightly, we, we've actually set this up such a way that I should be pulled out, but it's in the inventory, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and stick that in there. I can now do this thing right. Yes. I see my hydrogen refilling nest. That makes me happy. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we can get to building a grid. Are we are we done yet? Nice. Um ooh, where did I I did, did I? Now call me up so oh. Oh. Space engineers struck yet why again? And and this is actually a me thing. This is not a space engineer's fault. Now remember how we built a landing gear, and then we sort of moved away, and we built basically a grid that wasn't powered. And what space engineers does is, and I'm going to show you this with Alt F10. You can bring up this menu, right? This admin screen. <coughs> And there is this whole tab of trash removal. And there is an option that actually says that um, 
unpowered or you know um where something in here it, it, um there's a cleanup it's not a voxel cleanup it's a stationary linear moving accelerating so i did take that away where's my landing gear then so i did have this whole spiel already with you guys because otherwise this tick box would still be enabled so where in the actual heck is that landing gear placed unless I'm completely misunderstanding one of the options in space engineers but surely that grid should have actually maintained according to those options Uh, okay, confused.com doesn't matter. We're gonna start again. Don't care. Right. You know what? Okay, so uh, yeah, we're building a new grid. We need. I, I don't even know what my inventory is looking like. What done? Well, next time I'm going to get rid of one of the mods because it doesn't seem to work. Right. There's a mod here that is supposed to refill all my bottles. Yeah, that's what I thought. The world cleaned it up because no power. Tarsus was just confirming what I said. Um, so I'm a bit confused how the world options are still... Again, doesn't matter. Um, I am going to get rid of that mod because it doesn't work. Clearly. We haven't been in the air that long to have burned all this hydrogen, right? So gonna do a thing I'm gonna rely on is his min uh, inventory management uh, just stick it grief this is not a good day to be not listening to me won't stick them in there because now we see inventory management taking them away and hide empties please and is now gone and refill them into the hydrogen tank awesome thank you very much kindly now landing gear uh, landing gear align with gravity please so that is the front and so it doesn't matter which way I'm going to look that way and press 9 and 9 again and then I should have that phrasing to the front Boys. dear space engineers you sometimes suck I thought I had steel plate on me but probably a me thing. No doubt it's a me thing. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it looks like a me thing. There's a hundred plates there. I'm going to take them with me. Now, get some space. And now, when you <clears throat> start building big grid, right, and let's say this distance, and you're looking at it like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm away from my base. No, you're not. Keep moving. And, and I, I am not being mean or anything, but guys, these big grids, they are literally five times as big as the small grids. If I get my math right, 0. 0.5 times 5, yeah, it's 2.5. So, yeah, these grids are five times its size, right? So when you build a vehicle first and think, oh, yeah, I'm going to fit that easily there and we'll build another one. Yeah, 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 no, get more space. I was more space right now if i remember right i don't even need to weld this up and it's already locked into place i mean like literally i can just go and attach stuff to this now and it's not going to go anywhere unless i disconnect it from that landing gear right so we're already good here here three forward say four that way i'm gonna go say one two three four this away and then i i don't know how big i want this yet i need to look at it and have a feeling it's too small i as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure it's way too small i'm gonna attach <clears throat> two more 
Because, guys, you have no idea how big these wheels get. Two more that way. So that's two, four, six, and one in the middle. That seems a lot right. That's in the middle. So one, two, three, four. Try that. See? So one, two, three, four. I'm going to just do the same at the back and then bring it to the front and see what it looks like. Um, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, there we go, that, that, that's a bit, the outline, and then we're just going to bring this line back for now, into there, I just want to see it, like, a lot of my builds are actually done more by, sorry, looks than... Like, it, it needs to feel right. I, I don't know how to explain that, but there's there's certain dimensions that just feel good and right. And then there's certain dimensions where you're like, no, I, I don't like that. I don't want to work with that. So actually, you know what? I, I I like this. This this seems... I like this. And I think actually in the art world it's actually referred to as the golden ratio. But there's a there's a certain sort of relationship between length and width that just seems to please the eye. Right, and, and that was what I'm trying to do. I, I wanted to make it look good to me. I don't care about anyone else's opinion to be honest, like in terms of looks. Now if, if I get a functional error, yeah of course, please let me know. But if you don't like this looks, it's... Who cares? I like it. I need to live with it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's straightforward enough, like... And then most of this is going to get built out with uh, built and repair anyways. <laughs> Make no mistake. I am not... Neither on stream or off stream, going to weld all that together myself. No, no, no. We're gonna get as far as we can, and then we're gonna get a put, uh, get a built and repair on there. Maybe. Who? Okay. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Can we? Maybe. I need more buttons on my control panel. Sorry. Give me two seconds. I I've had a sort of bit of an idea. Um, I'm just trying to see if that is a thing I can do. Uh, box, where is... If I just look for build... Oh my goodness, I have a lot of build repairs. Not really. Or? What on earth have I got four build and repair for? There should be two. Like, what am I... Genuinely... Blinking missing right now. There's one there. Don't lock me, just let me go. Right. Handbrake, don't care, just uh, actually just turn you off. Uh, uh, bye. I've just piled on the whole grid. But why in the actual frig was I seeing that many built? No, there's one. Thank you. Now I can work with this. Um, so first of all, I would like to enable, when we do this particular hot bar, show area on off. Yeah. And then I would... There's a few buttons we're gonna need here, so bear with me. I need to parse a lot of info here, and a lot of, lot of text. Uh, grind downtown. No, no grind here first off. No smallest grid. No. Show area. Show area. Uh, area offset. Is it? The, yeah, we need to change the offset probably, and then width and height afterwards. So I would like to decrease first. 
um, decrease first and then increase left right increase right then up down decrease um, up down increase right and then front back decrease again you know it's it's a pattern here uh, front back increase and let me just have a quick look area with height depth so we're just in the another six might as well give me a new hotbar for that um so again we're doing decrease first and then the increase for the width and then we're do, going to do the same the height decrease first and then height increase and then last but not least depth increase uh, decrease and increase right so this about seems right to me now we're gonna go and come out get the camera out um give me that hot bar go and show the area please so yeah i've just built it slightly out with that area which is fine because we can move things now um yeah come a little bit over and we can come quite a bit over there because we're not building anything on that end and then that's three increase so four is a decrease now yeah, I, I like the depth as it were and then we're just gonna come down here a little bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i like this um i might need to come a little bit more over try and get the whole gridding gridding please uh, it'll are included Right, does that look like... yeah. Okay, cool. No, I like this. Um, and all the important parts are still within that sort of build area. And I'm, I'm sure we can actually come down quite a bit here. Like, I mean... Yeah, like so. Because... That's going to basically set me up for my tunnel. Yeah, I'll do probably. Right? Just like so. Um, and we're going to leave the areas themselves, you know, the width and that of them, or the extra volume, if you will, alone. Right, oh, I've got one thing. We can disable that view again. We don't need to see the area anymore. Nice. And, oh, there's another thing Sebastian forgot, because he's still a bit of an idiot. And the build and repairs, um... I would walk to enable walk fly mode, like, hmm. Uh, I would have thought that would have been a toggle for that, but okay, so fly mode on. Okay, so if we come away from that, are we fly mode on? We apparently are. Like, I would fully expect, because of that toggle, oh, where is it, that this grid should be built right now. Like, getting built, anyways. Oh, for... Yeah, Sebastian is still an idiot. And, I mean, like... Rectified, forget it. Yeah, because I've just made a whole bunch of blocks disappear, haven't I? Yeah. Oh no, not quite. But so, hmm. oh yeah, no, no, build and repair done its job. It's also done its job because this is a non-powered grid, and non-powered grids get welded. That uh, sorry, get ground up. So yeah, build and repair, done its thing. Hey, congrats you. 
calculations. That's all good. Then, yep, on this way. I told you guys, it's gonna be a bit of a weird one today. Frame rate seems to be. I mean, good grief. What? 16 frames per second? Are you kidding me? Like, what on earth? <laughs> you know, this is all. Yeah, I don't care about screenshot size. So I, what on earth? Oh, this may be a me thing. I may, I may have done a boo boo. I may have done a solo game thing. I, I, I shall see in a sec. <clears throat> Unless we're crashing out completely now. No, apparently we are still there. Geek. Yeah. Are we? Yes, yes, thank you. This, this is bad. So, yeah, I can absolutely play a mold at 60 frames at high texture resolutions and that, but not when I'm 40. No, of course not. But, you know, uh, guys, so. so Please, don't, don't get this wrong, like, when you record on your machine, you take a lot of resources right then and there, so, of course, people are going to struggle with even up-to-date machines to really capture at good ratios, unless you know sort of what you're doing and where you can save the resources, okay. Um, <clears throat> let's try this again. What? One, two, three, of course, this has got me really out uh, Is this a Monday by any chance? I think it is. Like, yeah, I, I know it is, by the way, right? I know which day of the week is. Uh, six. Most of the time, anyways. Uh, one, two, three, four, six. Did I get six in there? Two, four, yeah, that, that seems fine. And we're gonna do save one, two, three, four this away. Yeah, it plays a lot smoother. Good grief, I was wondering what was going on there. Like, like, I'm losing my mind. Uh, I've done that wrong, did I? No, oh, not quite. One more. Well, that's all good. Um, Two, three, four, and I'm just trying to close this off now. It's all good, Tarsus. Don't worry. I'm a bit of a state today. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I, I, I don't have a typical me thing. Actually, I expected build and repair to build this for me when I didn't even power the grid. So build and repair said, said, no, it's not a power grid, I'm gonna grind it here. Smirines. And that's exactly what I did. So, again, you know, it's part and parcel of this game. If you get things wrong, it will punish you. This is sort of always the boring part. <clears throat> You know, trying to lay it out. Okay. Have I used a hundred steel plate? I must have, apparently. Hey, dear refinery. I don't even actually care about you, as a matter of fact. I just want. Ah, please. Thank you. Oh, what did I do there? I don't know. Ding 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 ding. I'd love to see YouTube try and make a subtitle from this. Just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> and now my wife's joining. <laughs> oh, is it? I did not know there was a song. Uh, yeah, what's his face knows it. 
Oh, Tarsus would know it, probably. Well, I've actually in Canada. Oh, you learned it in Canada. It oh, doesn't mean I'm going to learn it in Canada, is it? Cheeks. I've got two of them. I'm already sitting on those cheeks. Stop being a gift. Eh. I'm getting told from my wife. It's all good. This is a perfect I'm not being a gift. You are what? being a dick. I'm not being a gift. I'm not being a dick. I'm doing it right. You're um, just doing it right. Yes, I am streaming yeah, live. And I should have to watch my language if I was monetized. Which I'm not. I still watch your language. So, yeah, we're, we're doing, you know, the thing that I was talking about earlier. Oh, fuck it, six. Oh, I've done another smashing thing. Right, it's fine. Actually, we, we, we can rock from here. I'm not gonna go and grind it all it away again. No. So, do we have four holds? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that seems fine. Um, then I would basically one, two, where's my piston sets? No, that's the conveyor. That's not what I want. A piston. Whoa. Yeah, is that the guy? I feel like I don't know. It feels like that's definitely the wrong direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should be attached to there, right? Bam, bam. Oh, Tarsus, don't mind me. There was no real question here. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and if there was a question, I can't mind it. So it's all good. Man. Just so that's that part. Can we? actually attach magnetic plates directly, I wonder? Oh no, no sorry, not magnetic plates. What are you talking about, Smash it? Um, so that is not going to work. This is fine. I completely poop out this up. Just... I really completely decorate this up, guys. It just, bum, 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 bum. just gonna have to quickly do a get used. Oh no, 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 not you! Don't just no, don't. Let's go and get rid of those guys quickly. Because so, remember how we've had this whole conversation earlier on about where it put pistons and you know how it put everything onto a landing plate. Yeah, I completely ignore all that. Even my own talk, and Tarsus, and yeah, the same own, and, and just built in my old way, and which is not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do is, and I shall not be too much longer with this, is to basically, yes, get rid of those, get rid of that, that, basically put a piston on top of the landing gear that we've just put down, being able to build that up bring the whole construction up and then I can build out the whole structure around the landing gear straight away because otherwise it's a double sort of process Wait, just give me two more seconds here or 30 seconds rather I'm trying my best here Get rid of those bump done. Oh, I, I, I got rid of the landing gear too. Well, uh, it's fine. Um, so we know that as the front. Look at it like a boot. Skatoosh, you're locked in. Now, the next thing I needed first. This is me pushing off buttons. Uh, come up. We need a piston. R piston, please. Um, that. Do we have. Yes. This is why I like the extra pistons, because there's this guy. Just a lot smaller in footprint, but we can still get about the same distance. Um, so, bear with me. 
we're gonna get that into construction and put whatever we have in here. Put that into the build planner. Get this guy welded up. Do the same there, right? And then the platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four, and then we need more stuff. Right? So. So, oh, perfect. Successfully withdrawn. Again, one of those big advantages advantages of having, you know, auto crafting enabled through the inventory scripts. It really helps. You just do stuff like this where you can just say, hey, I'm on building a few components. Can you just give me the components and bam, it's there. And in the meantime, you know, it's, it's rebuilding whatever you've just sort of took away. It's perfect, really. Um, now I need to power this grid, <laughs> right. but let me, oh guess what, me is out of again, out, out of steel plate yet again, woohoo, always out of steel plate, I ways, steel plate is a meme in this game, and empty containers apparently, what the, Oh, there's still inside here. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. So. And I did say from the beginning of this build, it was going to be a really quite expensive build. But the point is, if we do this right, we have a mobile base. We have something that we can have sort of instant bases spawn from two, three, four, that direction. Um, and ideally, I would I would basically want something that I can spawn a base from on any planet. That is sort of the intention here, and this is why Tarsus and me were talking about solar and wind power all on the same platform, even though it'd be a dynamic grid but that when you locked it into place, you could actually make use of whatever the best power resource f for that particular planet or area is. Two, three. Oh, no, wrong. Get rid of that. Down, more blocks. One, two, three, four. I'm hoping I'm getting this right this time without to take it all apart again. One and then just come along. There we go. Nice. Now since we know we need batteries, let's go and actually build say one there. Where is it? There and now, and the reason I'm doing this, right, this is just, again, it's, it's a me thing, but I'm trying to get weights balanced, right, so that when we go and take off, we actually have a fairly centred, yeah, centre of mass, you know, we, we, we have a thrust point from which all the weights are sort of equally pushed, so we're not, like, overly heavy at the back or front, you know, yeah, it's a balancing act. I'm trying to sort of achieve here and because one can never have too much power that is going to be part of the actual yeah decking if that makes sense um, and actually I can't do that there yeah I, I didn't quite think far enough that's fine I need to just move them a block over I still want them sort of um fairly outward positions, right? So let's put the batteries back down correctly this time. So do I want to be Yeah, I, I feel that is a good position to say for the batteries, right? Put them there. And then going to do you know my usual little piston setup where we're just going to build up the not there, 
there. I can just... Oh. What is it with me completely missing the aim twice now? Thank you. Just like so, and then do the same at the back, basically, where we're just going to come up, up, over, and that's where the person is going to go against, you know, the one that actually going, is going to loss to be a learning gear. Yep, that looks fine, and then do the same here. Nope, there's a block that fell. Can tell you for a gun. Sure, yep, there it is. Hello, goodbye. Um, and yeah, I think I like that so far. Not saying it's. Mm. No, I, I sort of like this idea more. Where, yeah. Yeah, that, that seems fine in terms of that length. Rambling, don't mind me. Try against that block. And ideally, if I'm... Uh, so that's the front block. Okay. I think that's exactly the correct way. No. Yeah, that, that looks about right. And then again, we do the same thing here. Didn't know. Why are you being so obnoxious on that particular point? So that way... Oh. And then the same there. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Really weird. Um, but yeah, so that is that part, right? Um, now we know this is already the fully retracted version, right? So we should be able to just go and build the enclosure. Right. This, this should be a thing. Feel. Oh, I'm needing to come out a bit, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to sort of extend this out one more level. I remember actually this from my last design that I had the same issue, so to speak. Oh, you need steel plate, because guess what, I've run out again. And none of those are built up yet, they're not welded up, that's just single steel plate we're placing. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just insanity, how much steel plate we're going to need. I mean, compare, like, uh, the, uh, this was a lot of blocks already to sort of put together. There's this thing that standing on oh, six wheels. Low. And it's... It's not even the size of our landing platform. <laughs> it's, wait, did we... Oh, of course she just... You know, our favourite friend, she just informed us that, yeah, we're, we're low on energy. Because apparently we haven't had enough energy drinks. Or something to that effect. So, let me get this right, it's filling up my energy faster, and I know it doesn't refill my hydrogen because it's not attached to a tank or anything like that, but surely health should have been filled up, right? Like, there should be no need for me to do this. Just find it weird. Are we... are you filling up that bottle? I, what are you doing? This mod is... it really sounded like a good idea, but... I 
think now we're full. Now we should be full, yes. But it, it seems weirdly behaved. Like, I, I can't say that it doesn't work. It just seems to take longer than it would take me to just bunk the bottles into the inventory and just be done with that. Anyways, um, let's go and just build this out quickly. Now I know we need to be one further out to really hide this really well. Right, like so. Yeah, at least she was worried about the energy this time, not the fuel. <laughs> not the last, not like the last, I don't know what, four or five episodes. <laughs> We managed to get rid of that warning just to replace it with another warning. <laughs> Seems a good deal ish. Not? Maybe? <laughs> um, so basically, if I'm doing this right, and I think I have last time, because it, it seems to have worked, right? Is that the landing gear itself should just completely appear out of thin air, so to speak. Than air, but you know, from the underbelly. Is that what you call it? Right, okay, so the medical room gives you health, seats just don't. Okay, it's just a thing. And, right. I think it was just my imagination, or maybe my, my wishful thinking that was like, well, I'm taking a seat, I'm, you know, hooked up from my base, you should heal me, surely. But I can I can sort of see that yeah you would need a medical bay remember from last episode <laughs> I was looking for that forever <laughs> um, that you would need something like that to actually get yeah healing okay now again this is gonna get chopped off at some point um, I'm hoping. This looks fine to me, like, I don't see why this should work. Just trying to fill out the blocks as I can here. It, oh, guess what? We've again used a hundred steel plate, like nothing. <laughs> oh, good grief, this is such a meme. Yeah. Right. Oh my goodness, so many blocks, so many blocks still to build. Right, let's let's come out here and just No oh, I know what there's one there, there, and there. No oh, fucking six. Really? Just get I'm a bad builder, I am. As I say, now I'm just relying on my build repair to build all this up for me. Because there is no way in hell that I'm gonna build all this up by hand. And I mean, like, yeah, I know what you're supposed to. Right, and I get that. It's part of the whole game. I think I've messed up, by the way. I think. Look at this, I've not left any space. No? You would be able to come up or down. There's just a very few, but there, there is spaces that we can't fill out. I'm not sure which those are. Or it might just... Again, this is one of those things that I don't quite understand yet. You know, the whole how blocks link together and what makes them link, what makes them clang sort of thing. And that is something that only experience can really show you, to be honest. Um, what do you mean unable to play? Uh, that's one of those. 
was working on uh oh getting the wife's computer up and running i mean that's that's if it's not the we're in computer that we're fixing it's someone else's computer trust me i know because i've done computer support for 20 plus years It's actually that bad that I have a t-shirt saying, you better be nice to me. You may need to take support of me one day. Uh, got it from my wife too. That's the worst part. Uh, what do you mean? I'm able to play side. Yeah, yeah. Of course, when you're standing right on the, on the thing, yeah, it's, it's going to not allow you to do the thing. A thing and a thing and a thing and a... Never mind me today. I've honestly I've had a wee bit too much probably. But anybody's good. But eh. Uh, yeah, but there's blocks that's gonna be missing still, I feel like. But I need to actually I, right, I don't know if it's just me, but I really, really, really struggle to visualize what I've built here. Mm. I, I don't know how to explain this properly, but I appreciate what Keen Software is trying to do here, but I feel this is very nondescript. I, I I couldn't tell you what I've built here. Because like I've built it myself. I've I've put these blocks in here myself. I know what it's supposed to be. But I feel like you are not telling me enough of what I'm missing or, or what I've put down. It's it's all just a huge chunk of yeah, wireframe, I suppose, is the word here. Is it? I, I don't know if that's the right word here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to have to read this one out. Nasha says, if, um, I'm not that great with Clang either. I just know that. The worship him, because I don't... If I don't, then Clang will happen. You know, like, it, it's a thing. If you, if you don't respect Clan, he will haunt you to your dreams. I, I don't even mean that as a euphemism. I have had Clang appear in my dreams. I have seen structures disappear in my dreams. <laughs> uh, oh, guess what? We all still play together again. We Something new happened. We ran out of steel plate. <laughs> You're making another lifetime! <laughs> Sorry, I felt rem reminded of Jeff Dunham there. <laughs> uh, now, honestly, I. It's so much wire. wireframe here, or whatever you want to call it. You like. What did I actually build? Is is this a thing? Is this going to work? Is it is it going to be something that would do certainly not like that. But you know, is it something that would come together as a as a full structure? Is it going to be identifiable as a structure? I'm not even asking for a sound structure for fuck's sake, I'm just asking for a structure. But it's it's a struggle. I really, really it's the only complaint, really, about this game I have, that this part here, I... Help me. Guys, come on. I... I don't know how else to explain that. But it's... That is... And it may just be that I just don't have the skill to visualize it enough. It may just be that it is actually something that is not working right in my brain, if you will, or, you know, like, in my perception. But it's this whole feeling of, like, is this right? Have I missed something? If so, why? Where? How? 
and until you test it and clang happens, you're just not going to know. Like, even this, I'm, I'm, I'm super uncertain of. Like, like, shit is just going to fall apart or get ripped apart. I, I just know it. I mean, like, there's so many empty blocks, and I don't know why, like, what I've missed, what, what I'm not seeing here, and... But... Let's... I think one of the first ones, and this is really the most important, and... Probably know this by now, because I... fucked this up last time. We're, we're gonna need a battery. We need to build a battery, otherwise that grid is gonna disappear. The minute I go anywhere, or do anything... What do you mean you can't withdraw three power cells? I'm just going to make more. I know you're making them anyways. Which battery did I build? I, I cannot remember. No. Nope. Is, is this a battery? Yes, it's a battery, but it's not the one. I think this is... Yes, this is the battery. And yeah, yeah we, we, we know power cells, right? Come on should not be an issue at all, like... Put to production, come on. Shouldn't take this long to make some freaking power cells, I... What the f... Who told you to make all that? Do I still have something else in the build planner? No? Oh, right, okay, no, no, that actually makes sense. No, no, that, that's fine, I can... I can get behind that, that's fine. Um, yes, we should now have all the components for that one battery. Correct. Ow. What do you mean? There's a block missing here. How, how did I miss that? Because I... I couldn't tell. Wait. I don't even... Where was the hole? Is this it? I don't even know. More importantly... We now have a power grid. I'm sure it's somewhere here. Um, now the other thing I just don't know because obviously we have to start from scratch is what that area is going to look like. So let's have a look. Uh, two, one. Uh, oh crap. Yeah, I did. I can see the base. I. Can we make out the grids roughly? It's. I'm just gonna try and cheese it somehow and try and see if it's in that area. It, it seems like it. it. I'm just gonna try it. Sorry. Okay, turn it on. Turn on the build and repair. And. Yeah, please don't show me that area, man. Anyway. Um. I'm hoping to... Yes. Right. Uh, and because this is otherwise going to take freaking ages, I will help it along. And I think all I really need to do to, to really help it along is... Maybe something like that. Just make sure we have plenty of to play. Like, I feel like that is the... Uh, I think this from our last build, where it's now trying to build up the, you know, the, the quotas from the autocraft. And, and I'll let it do it, that's fine. I can already see it happening. Right, it's already putting more things into production. Because build and repair is doing its thing. <laughs> yep. So that's happened. Um dead body. I see the body. Where's my bag? Again, you are the body, where's the bag? 
body bag. Yes, anyone? Oh, right, okay. So, hmm. When you have build and repair, and I'm just going to tell you this right now because <laughs> you've just literally seen it happen. It will pick up items that are on the ground that are loose on its own. Um, I would fully imagine and expect if we go and say, don't hide the uh, just hide the empties, right? I don't want to see them. Yes. There is, for example, there is a welder, there is a grinder, there is a gel, there is three bottles of hydrogen, there is a bottle of oxygen. Is that we need? I think not. Right. But so the point stands. It will pick up anything that's on the floor, including your dead freaking body, and it will put it back into the inventory. So if you uh, if you die close to base, chances are your body will already be gone. <laughs> so just go and check your inventory, guys. <laughs> It'll save you a whole lot of bother and heartbreak. You're like, ah, what's up? Where's my body? Where's my equipment? I just made the stuff. <laughs> it's all still there, but you know, uh, building repairs actually done its job. Which honestly, I love. I love the fact that it does that. Um, so I am scrolling a lot. Yeah, please, please, more. Thank you, thank you. Um, because I know there is somewhere in here there's holes, and I would like to see. I just look so deep down, but I'm gonna try and just fill out, right? We're just gonna fill out the spaces that we can see, and. You know, this actually seems fine. Um, so. I'm just checking on inventories, you know, like, uh, what do you call them? Ingots, however, uh, I want to make sure we have plenty of the resources we're going to need. What the actual friggin' frick? I told someone to make me five friggin' thousand steel plates. And if someone hasn't by now made me those five thousand steel plates, then I'm going to lose my fucking shit. There's 800 there, no, no, I need it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it differently. Um, give me, please. Uh, okay, we are going to need a level screen. You see this, like, we've, we've exhausted that screen and there's stuff missing. And we did speak about that, or oh, I, I did. Trying to explain to you guys last time that this is a thing. There's a, there's a whole setup in is this inventory management. No, I know I don't need oxygen. I always just have a bottle on me for I don't know how it's sake. It's it's a stupid habit. I know. Um, sorry, Tash is uh, asking me or telling me I don't need oxygen because I'm, uh, I'm on Earth. Which yeah, I I I know, but I feel like no. I want to have at least one bottle on me for really as I say they're, they're stupid reasons but so I was talking about we needed another display is it called that no it's not called that it's is it LCD um and I think just because I'm gonna show you the transparent one I think just because like so you can see the difference, really. Right. And then, remember that we are going to... I don't care if it's transparent LCD. I just care it's a transparent... Oh, it's an LCD in an auto graph 2. Skip dish. And then give the script a few seconds. And now you will see that you have actually got this list split over two screens. So we could see this world item, which is probably, you know, the initial world are we only want one of. We could also then say on this screen that we would want, say, none of it, or 
you know, actually in this case, probably more around this way. Say I don't want any of them. Say okay, and then look at that screen and make sure you are making those equations. However, the one I was going to really ramp up here, because steel plate just really annoying me. Go and ramp that up to five, 5k. Right, I think that seems like a reasonable sh -sh 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 um, suggestion. I mean, well, see, it's it's no well, two batteries there. It's good. It's good. It's 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 doing the thing. Um, now I know that large grid itself doesn't actually really use cockpit blocks like so you, you wouldn't normally go and like place something like the industrial cockpit on here or you know like no like normally what would happen in this case is the repairs been using them takes up precious space so wait um Sorry to quote on a tangent there. Um, right. To finish that thought, first of all, um, you would normally just not go and place a cockpit. What we would normally really do in this circumstance, because we're doing large grid, is let me go and find a three. Yeah, right. you would basically place maybe a flight seat or a control seat, or maybe even two. Um, you want to obviously make sure they're face, facing sort of the same way, but you know, that'd be a co a pilot, say co pilot, and then you would have windows around. So it's not like your small grip where you just place a cockpit and just go off on it. No, I really am going to try to make this something that will be capable of being airtight. Now remember, when, when, when I set up the world, I did make air tightness be a thing. I want to be dealing with the yeah engineering challenge of making an airtight space of a you know of an area that I can survive in and possibly even prosper. Um anyways, I think I've rambled on for long enough for today. Like, I, I feel, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around Tarzan's comment here. So he says, uh, I don't need oxygen because now I'm on Mars, which, yeah, makes sense. Um, and then says that building repair has been using, takes up precious space. Yeah, but, so, as I say, so the, the whole point of this grid is going to be that when I'm done with it, it will be able to go to any of the planets and we will be able to spawn a new base from this and I've actually been thinking about that part too right what about making a blueprint now bear with me making a blueprint of say this section a wind tower and then maybe attach a yeah. What 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 is the absolute minimum here? I would I would need two projections. Ah, I don't know, mate. Um, so I I would probably need two blueprints. One for atmospheric planets where I could do a winter thing, and you know another blueprint where we would have a solar panel set up but the idea is that we would have a projector on the large grid that we can project a very small area i, I wouldn't have it maybe more than three by three tower of either wind or solar assembler refinery maybe a help station I, 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 what would you call it, uh, the medical bay for the grown-ups, or a, no, no. what am I, this guy, 
yeah, the survival kit. But, like, that's like the minimum block. And then, obviously, maybe a cargo container, you know, but, like, cargo container, refinery, assembler, survival kit, and power. Have that as a blueprint on... Yeah, one protector pointing out with a wind farm base and sorry guys and say it's say a protector there for wind farm base and a protector there for solar based but yeah we you did you'd have this little thing that comes out that that is let's see about two by two three by three provide power provide me essential <coughs> refining and building capabilities and i can spawn anywhere on any planet that is really what i'm aiming for that i can take this guy and see on the quick of button on one of the quick bar say okay where are now atmospheric planet i am projecting out this little construct a uh, construct of wind farm assembler refinery dick, 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 and build and repair please just go and build that right there bam and then you could essentially go and take off with your mobile base again and conquer and yeah conquer the next planet you know and go and establish a base somewhere else so i i, th I think we've, we've made a head start here on obviously the, the big guy and this is going to be quite some build um and i will be doing some of this off off camera as it were i'm not going to have you sit through all of it um but whenever i build more structure on this or we're adding say features yeah you, you'll be there don't worry you, you'll see it all um but yeah i think until then there's not much we've done today so fucking about and you know all that good stuff but we've got a plan for the next couple of episodes so first of all we're gonna we've already done this i'm, I'm quite happy with this you know like we've got a base i can come down and actually lay out something here um gonna just chop all the drills away and we'll also have our entrance sort of here into you know our cave system on the other end there so we have a backup base um and this will be our launch and as, as much as i may be building this on the surface at the moment this big guy the hope really is that even if i have to get more drills in this yeah, we're gonna get it back out and make a bigger hole. I don't care, right? I, I, I'd like the idea of, yeah, we're gonna hide it down here in a, a sort of launch space, if that makes sense. Or silo, or, you know, launch silo, whatever. And, yeah. Be able to just go from there and have it as a, yeah, secret escape as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like the content, it's always appreciated. Also helps the algorithm to decide what content to show you guys. And well, until next time, peace out and thanks for watching. I'm going to save right here. Bye.